the Formula One Power Boat World Championship will once again be held in North Sumatra with the first rounding starting in March. During the event, 18 of the world's top power boaters will compete to win the first of eight rounds of the championship, set with the colorful and vibrant Lake Toba as its background. Not just for its worldwide sporting appeal, the race also has a substantial gain for Indonesia's economy. According to Coordinating Minister of Maritime and Investment Affairs, Luhut Binsar Panjaitan, the F1 Power Boats inaugural Indonesian event last year created an economic impact of 1.6 trillion rupiah and attracted at least 100,000 visitors to the region. Dampak ekonomi karena event F1 Power Boat dan Apo Baik pada tahun lalu telah memberikan dampak ekonomi hingga 1,68 triliun dan 1,68 triliun rupiah dan berhasil mendatangkan 100 ribu wisatawan. Begitu juga dampak acara bagi daerah kegiatan-kegiatan internasional juga memperkenalkan destinasi wisata baru kepada turis domestik. The cooperation between the Coordinating Ministry of Maritime Affairs and Investment, the Ministry of Tourism and Creative Economy, the Ministry of State-Owned Enterprises, and the State-Owned Tourism Holding Company in Germany resulted with Indonesia earning the honor of the best host of the F1 Powerboat Championship in 2023. In addition, Tourism and Creative Economy Minister Sandiaga Uno claimed that digital media covering the event help to boost tourism into Indonesia. And so, he promised to facilitate constructions for hotels and other facilities to build upon the event's reputation and to ensure the event can sustain in Toba for the future. Yang nonton di sana mungkin 100 ribu, 200 ribu, tapi yang nonton di media digitalnya itu jutaan. Dan impresi daripada jutaan tampilan Danau Toba ini ternyata mendorong peningkatan jumlah kunjungan wisatawan mancanegara ke Indonesia dan hotel-hotel terus dibangun Pak kami uh, selain yang ada di Samosir ada beberapa yang mengajukan kepada kami dan terus akan kami fasilitasi untuk membangun uh, lebih banyak fasilitas amenitas kelas dunia di uh, Danau Toba but the event organizers are focusing on more than the economy and so changes will be made to this year's event to ensure the native Bata culture of North Sumatra will be highlighted and shown to the world. So of course there's a lot of improvements that we need to do every year in order for uh, this event is not only successful but to give economic impact to the people around. So that's what we're doing in terms of infrastructure, facility, accommodation, as well as improving the event itself. Uh, for, by this year, we're marrying more um, the, our culture, the Bata culture and traditional culture with the actual racing itself. So that's why we have the racing and then we have Solu Bolon competition, which is the largest in Indonesia. And we marry uh, our culture with, the, with an international event. With the changes in the event format and investments into the region, it is hoped that Indonesia will have a new staple event where the country can learn about the world. And in turn, the world can learn about the country. See today news team reporting from Central Jakarta.